Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Mohammed Al Husseini, a math teacher in uh, Egyptian language school in uh, secondary stage. I uh, explain the math uh, course for uh, second secondary, inshallah. Uh, now we start the first unit in algebra uh, called the real function. Okay? Uh, now, <clears throat> to know what the meaning of uh, real function, we have to revise about the relation between two sets in uh, in a prior prep stage. Now, for example, if we have some relations from our relation between two sets, from set X to set Y. First relation, X, the element of X, one, two, three, four, element in Y, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we have <coughs> one is a, has image six, two has image seven, two has image eight, three and nine, four and nine. We notice that the element two has two image, seven or eight. We say that the relation one not function. You know, but the function, the relation such that each element in X related with only one image, one element in Y. If R1 not function because two has two image. Another relation, another relation, R2, X, Y, X1, 2, 3, uh, 4, Y, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have one image 5, 3, it's image 7, 4, it's image 9. <coughs> We note that C, we see that B2 has no image. We have also a relation to not represent function. Third relation, R3, we have set X, set Y, element of X, 1, 2, 3, 4, element in Y, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1 has image 5, 2 has image 6, 3 has image 7, and the 4 has image 9. We see in the relation 3 that each element in X has only one image in Y. If this is a kind of relation called function. Function because each element in X has only one image in Y. In case of function, element of X called domain. Y called codomain. And the elements which use from codomain 5, 6, 7, 9 called range of the function. If we say range is 5, 6, 7, 9. If the range is subset from codomain. This first method to represent the function, how to uh, classify that this relation is function or not. This uh, figure is called arrow diagrams. Arrow diagrams. <coughs> this first, uh, method, first method to uh, uh, explain the relation is function or not. Another uh, method, <coughs> another method, to <coughs> represent function or uh, <coughs> explain the relation is function or not is the Cartesian Cartesian diagram Cartesian diagram <coughs> like this Relation, relation for x, y, like x axis and y axis, element of x, 
1, 2, 3, 4. Y, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. function of this relation is a function. 
if we see graph like this, <coughs> what happened when we draw a vertical line? If we draw a vertical line like this, intersect at two points, or oh, at this relation, not function, because the vertical line intersects the graph of the function at two points, but here only one time. If this is called the function, this is called the root function. Okay? Okay. I uh, explain how uh, now we have an exercise to show by using vertical line test the graph is a function or not. By using a vertical line test, explain this represent a function or not, like this. Number one, this graph. Number two, this graph. Number three, this graph. Number four, this graph. By using vertical line test, explain these graphs represent the function or not. First one, if you draw any vertical line, intersect the graph at only one point in this function. Another one, also, if you draw a vertical line, intersect the graph at only one point, in a therefore this is a function. Second, no. If you draw any vertical line, intersect the graph at two points. Therefore, this is not function. In this graph, not function. Because when we draw a vertical line here, vertical line here, intersect the graph at line segment. Line segment, the set is infinite points infinite set of points in as is not function. Okay? A function, function, not function by using by using a vertical line test. Now we <coughs> focus on the domain and the range of the function. We know as we said before that if we have a relation from x to y one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <coughs> one, set nine, one and five, two and six, three and seven, four and nine. X called domain. Uh, y as all called the domain, but the range is five, six, seven, eight. Since X and Y subset of real number, uh, this is function called a real function. Now we focus on how to determine the range and the domain of the graph from, from the function from the graph. By using a certain graph, you can determine the domain and the range, as we say now. easy to determine the range and the domain from the graph like this. One, two, three, four, five. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Negative one, negative two, negative three. Negative four, negative five. The graph. 
negative 4 and 1 here, uh, 0 and 4, and 3 or negative 4, and 5, 1. The graph, as you see, the end point, and this is the start point of the graph, this is the end point of the graph. How to determine the domain and the range from the graph? From like this. To determine the domain from x-axis, how? The smallest value of x is negative 4. The biggest value of x is 5. From negative 4, from negative 4 to 5, this is the possible value of x. It is called domain. The domain here, from closed negative 4 to 5. As a set of possible values of x from negative 4 to 5. If I will de de determine the domain of the function from x axis, then how to determine the range from y axis? How? Like this. The smallest value of y is negative 4. The biggest value is 4. If I from here to here, from negative 4 to 4, is the possible value of uh, y axis called range, if it is range. If the range from negative 4 to 4 close to close. Now, if I can, you can use the graph to determine the domain and the range. From x axis, from x axis, you get the domain. From y axis, you get the range. Next example for this. Example, function f from closed interval 1 to 5 to r, it means the domain closed interval 1 to 5 and the uh, codomain is r, okay? And the rule fx equal x plus 1. Grab the function and deduce the range. First, the domain is this. Now, to uh, draw the graph, okay, and x, y, x from 1 to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, substitute in this formula x plus 1. If for what x plus 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. We can draw the graph. We can draw the graph like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have one and two. Two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six. Yes. This is the graph. Okay, if we speak about the domain and the range, if we speak about the domain, domain here from 1 to 5, this is the domain. Range from 2 to 6, if we domain, domain 1 to 5, close to close, range, range 2 to six close to close. Okay.